Yo, welcome to the first episode of The Backstory, where I give you guys all the behind the scenes stories that happen during my movie sets. So you guys just see the final result, but you have no idea how much craziness happens while you're creating the film. So let's get into it. Let's take it back to 2016. It was my first ever film. It was a 1920s themed short film slash music video. The ladies were looking lovely. The guys were rocking a 1920s drip, you know what I mean? Everybody was looking good. While me and the actors and my crew were upstairs filming a different scene, the extras were downstairs having a whole party for real. Big booty house, hop with it. Somebody had popped open a bottle way before they were supposed to. But that was rookie mistake number one. I brought alcohol to a film set. I knew that would be one way to entice people to come out, but now I know, <laughs> never again. By the time we got downstairs, man, everybody was already drunk. It was so hard to even try to direct people. I just found myself the whole night saying, Hold it down, hold it down. Hey, 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 hold it down, hold it down. Hold it down. It was pure chaos. I'm trying to produce. I'm trying to get waiver release forms signed. I'm trying to direct. I'm trying to talk to my talent. I'm trying to talk to the crew. And everybody else is just having a good old time. At this point, I'm all out of character. I'm yelling at people, cussing at people. It was just not a good sight. But eventually we got it done, the scene came out great. But I definitely learned my lesson. Never bring alcohol to a film set. Never again. Till this day, I still don't know who it was who popped the bottle. But if I had to take a guess, it probably was my cousin Eric because he's always the life of the party. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Make sure y'all tune into the next episode of The Backstory. In the meantime, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Iconic Visions and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can check out the film all to myself. Then you can see how this whole scene came together.